in these problems, we need to find all the solutions for a particular trigonometric equation on a certain interval. In this case, the interval is going to be from 0 to 2 pi, so basically one time around the unit circle. The way to approach a problem like this, here we have the sine of theta minus 1 equals 0, is to solve for the trigonometric expression part of this. So that's pretty easy in this first one. We just add 1 to each side. So the sine of theta equals 1. And at this point, it probably looks a little bit easier, because what this is really asking is where is the sine of theta equal to 1? Sine is the y value. Uh, the only place it's equal to a positive 1 is right here. And that's at pi over 2. So the solution to this is just pi over 2. There's only one answer. Sometimes in equations like this, uh, on this interval of all the way around the circle, you might have an answer that shows up more than once. For example, if you were looking for all the values where the sine is square root of 2 over 2, well, there's one and there's one, uh, both positive square root of 2 over 2. So there can be more than one answer. Let's look at another one. This says find all the solutions to the equation in that same interval, one time around the unit circle, <clears throat> where 8 times the cosine of theta plus 4 times the square root of 3 equals 0. And at first glance, this looks pretty tricky. But do the algebra first to solve for the cosine. So I'm going to subtract 4 times the square root of 3 from both sides. That gives me 8 times the cosine of theta equals a negative 4 times the square root of 3. And then we're going to divide by 8 to solve for the cosine. This is going to give me the cosine of theta on the left, because the 8's cancel. And on the right, this 4 will cancel. This will become a 2. We get negative square root of 3 over 2. And that value should look pretty familiar to you. You've seen that value uh, on the unit circle before. So let's look for values where cosine, remember cosine is the x, so it's going to be over on this side. Uh, uh, x values are negative square root of 3 over 2. And let's see, here's 1, and here's 1. So the answers here are 5 pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6. So that is how to find a solution to a trigonometric equation on an interval.